Good morning and welcome to Whoops in the Dungeon. We're going to do a short video on flogging styles because as you throw a flogger over time, you develop your own style, your own quirks, and everyone's unique. Everyone's going to look a little bit different, but there are some commonalities with styles that evolve. Some of those styles uh, are related to the type of handheld you're using and some aren't, but I'm just going to demonstrate uh, three or four different styles that I see out there that are all kind of cool and interesting in the dungeon. One style that evolves is just with this figure eight that you're throwing. And you're throwing it with, with a normal handheld grip and it kind of looks like that. But another style that evolves is just simply turning this uh, and, and this figure eight, let me go back to the figure eight. This figure eight can be thrown two ways. It can be thrown with a lot of wrist, rolling your wrist around, or it can be thrown with more arm, where there's more arm movement and the arm is making the figure eight, and the wrist is pretty much stiff, or what I would call a passive wrist. So part of your journey is gonna to be to figure out whether you prefer a lot of wrist, whether your wrist is strong, or if your wrist, wrist is weaker and your arm is strong, you might want to throw with a little more arm swing. I will pause for a moment in talking about a lot of wrist as opposed to a lot of arm swing. Some You have to also let the flogger talk to you. Some floggers, because of the way they've been balanced or maybe not balanced, it's hard to keep the tails together when you're using a lot of wrist and you find that if I just throw it with an arm swing, it's much easier to keep the tails together. Uh, so sometimes the flogger talks to you as to which style it prefers to be thrown with. Another style is just this circular fan motion, okay? Uh, and you can let the flogger turn a little bit in your hand. If you continuously throw it in a fan and you hold the flogger tight, over time the tails are going to get a twist in them, kind of like a mop, that's going to change the sensation some. If you don't want that twist to happen, then you rotate the flogger handle a little bit as it comes around and it keeps that flogger from twisting up. So the, the, the third style I'm going to talk about, and this, this fan motion, we could do that on the backhand side as well. You can do it whether the person is vertical or laying down horizontal. If you're doing it horizontal, then the tails are coming this way. You can go and reverse the direction, okay? So this kind of, you could relate this to poi spinning. You could spin a poi this way. You could spin a poi in the opposite direction and you could turn it around, okay? But I'm spinning that poi with a handshake grip so the third style I'd talk about would be this finger flogger style grip uh, with throwing it thusly. But now could I also throw with this Ford figure eight? Could I throw it with a lot of wrist? Could I throw it with a lot of arm swing? The answer is yes to both. So you're gonna see some styles of all. A lot of wrist, a lot of arm swing, how the grip's being done, whether you're seeing mostly figure eights, whether you're seeing mostly more poi style. Um, interesting stuff coming out of throwing a flogger. As always, thanks for watching Whoops in the Dungeon.